I was born on May 26, 1923, in Munich, Germany. Well, during World War II, a lot of things happened to a lot of people. What happened to me happened very early. Already in 1933, we saw each other uh, 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 dangerously close uh, uh, to um, the, 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 the scariest of, of, of our names, which uh, was uh, um, the, the, the Gestapo, Geheime Staatspolizei, that we, we knew what they w would look like when they were standing somewhere. But after a while, we began to rec recognize them. And where we lived, you could enter our house from the front, Adelheidstraße, or from the back, Tankstraße. The house was called Gartenhaus. So the house was not in a garden, but it was called that. that it, it was the middle house. Whether my father went out one, one way or, or another way, uh, we realized and we were told by friends that our house was very, very often, for hours and hours, uh, 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 guarded in a way by the uh, by the uh, uh, the uh, 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 Gestapo, and they're w they're waiting for somebody or the or, or, or the they they're writing down certain things. After a while, we realized that it, that concerned my father. We knew we uh, we had uh, to be at a certain place at at six thirty or seven o'clock in the morning the next morning, so we had only one night where we could pack. And w uh, 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 we got a, a list where it said what you can take, and or, 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 or how much you can take, or, or not more, and what is forbidden to have even to, not, not only to take along, but not. not. So f first were all the for forbidden things, and then it said you can have 50 kilograms of, of, of uh, of, of, of things you are carrying. They can be divided between a suitcase, which has your transport number in oil paint, so the rain wouldn't wash it off, and has uh, 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 and, and whatever doesn't fit into the su one suitcase, you, you put into your bed roll, it, a roll that, that uh, will be your bed. You take a, a, a heavy blanket, or if, if you have a down a blanket, or a wool blanket, whatever it is, uh, rolled up and into that you can put two towels and two washcloths and a few things that didn't fit the suitcase. But all in all you may not have more than uh, a 50 kilogram of, of uh, an anything that you're bringing. How did we find out about it? By uh, a, a, a boy who was sent from the Jewish Community Center to different people to tell them that they are in the transport, in the transport, in the transport. You, that more or less our our invitation, or whatever one wants to call it, to the transport that leaves tomorrow morning at such and such a time from such and such a station uh, by, uh, by train. I'm not sure whether the latest was seven o'clock or six thirty, but very early which was very skillful, of course, because not too many people got up that early and not too many people saw what was going on, that the streets were full of people uh, who were uh, thrown out of their own homes and, 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 and stuck into a, a train to, 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 some, to some work camp or the desk camp at the time being. I didn't know about any desk camps until much later, but we knew about work camps and Theresienstadt or Theresien was a work camp. So that was probably uh, a, a lucky thing for the three of us or for any, or anybody who wanted to have at least a chance in on surviving. But once we arrived at the place, it, it was very, very different. Uh, in, in, in the train, I could still be me. In the train, I realized soon that my best friend uh, a, a woman who was uh, much older than I, but she was my best friend in those days, uh, was in the same transport. And she and I stood outside by the window, closing the compartment behind us where people were sitting in a normal train. And we stood by the window and looked out at the beautiful landscape 
and, 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 and everything in bloom that we hadn't seen for years because we were not allowed to go anywhere but to the Jewish cemetery. We were not allowed to go to parks or, or anywhere else than uh, where they allowed us to be. So uh, Miriam and I uh, stood by a window and, and uh, together we sang, not loudly, but joyfully, so, some very beautiful folk songs and, 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 uh, and songs about homeland and so on in, in Czech and uh, 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 on the way to, to, uh, towards Terezin. Terezin at that time did not have any connection with railroads. That was, that was done later on. It was laid by the Jews, uh, by our, our own Jewish people. But uh, the, the, tr the, the train stopped at a, a small station called Bohushovice. I don't know how th that could be translated into English or any other uh, language. Uh, 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 it, 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 what it's named for, I have no idea, but it was very important in, in my life because that was where normalcy more or less ended. He said the day before we had, we, we knew this performance would come and there would be uh, 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 Nazis, uh, uh, SS people in the audience. Uh, uh, Raphael Schechter said, this is a different performance than any one of those b before. I want you to listen to me and I want you to be absolutely sure that you want to go and to be with us t tomorrow. Nobody is, t is told to do so. It, this is not a command at all. In the contrary, if you want to rather not have anything to do with this tomorrow, I would understand fully. This time it will be dangerous. And I remember him saying just these words. And if anybody wants to leave, here's the door. Nobody left. Within the weeks that we were studying the Requiem, Raphael Schechter told us the entire uh, uh, lifetime story of uh, Verdi and also uh, th that there are many, many other Requiems uh, written by other composers and he mentioned them. And then he said, I chose this particular, the Verdi Requiem, for one reason only. There is loud and clear the, 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 uh, the, come the words. Whatever we do here on earth will be heard and seen. The day will come when you will come before the judge and the judge has the book open and knows everything you did, all the good and the bad things, and you will, you will be treated according to what you did on earth. And, uh, and Raphael Schechter said, we cannot say these things to them, that the day of judgment will come and they will get what they deserve, but we can sing it to them. Many of our enemies, of course, he didn't say it that way. He ch I'm saying it now. It is uh, 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 clear that whoever came in a certain uniform belonged to a certain group of people. And uh, among them, uh, while we were uh, 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 singing, actually, uh, uh, we, uh, there was Eichmann. <coughs> I saw him there myself for the first time because a friend of mine who knew what he looked like uh, asked me to move the temporary curtain we had for a moment before we started singing. Uh, and, and then she said, if you look through this little hole and you make a line, straight line, you will see there are so and so many people in, in, in SS u uniform. And in the middle of them, is one man who is uh, 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 not wearing a uniform, he wears a certain cap or uh, jacket or whatever, and you will recognize him, that's Eichmann. It's very hard to say uh, 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 what, we, wh what we felt uh, when, with each transport that left, uh, groups of uh, 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 20, 50, 60 
19, there were always people from the Requiem who were very, very important in order to sing it again. So it was never sung anymore after that day in June. Listening to the music may remind many of the people in the audience that they have been to theaters and had heard operas like the ones that was now performed in Terezin. Uh, we did our best to sound good and we did our best to learn our words, whether they were Czech, German, or, um, or, or Latin. But uh, uh, the important part was there was something in that music that was good for everyone, for those who heard it, but also for those who sang it. It was very important for any, 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 any child, any age, and any, any young person to know that no matter what the outside world looks like or the, your, 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 your closest neighbors uh, in the next house, uh, um, the important thing is that the kindness you show others comes right back to you. And it is much easier to live the life of a kind person, and then uh, to try to give back the, the ugliness that very often happens to us. Um, if, if we were, would, were to give back all the ugliness that happens to every, any one of us, they, I don't think there would be one left who could say that never happened to me, nothing, nothing ugly ever happened. Everything that happened to me was beautiful. No, it isn't. But the more you practice being nice to others, being kind to others, and showing them that you mean well, no matter who did what to, to them, uh, uh, makes a great difference. This song was made so, by Eric May, who is Marianka May's, was Marianka May's husband and my father. And he wrote the words in the melody, which we're going to try to sing now. Mm -hmm. And it is called Farmer's Thanksgiving. Yeah. Right? Uh, uh, Father in heaven, I thank thee for the beautiful farm of mine, for thy golden corn and thy apple tree, for thy rain and thy sunshine. For the her who through the hardships all has been my faithful wife. And for the children, small and tall, who brought my house to life. Before I think it's harvest time, I drink thy golden wine. In comes the herd with ringing chime. At winter's early sign, from my own warm house, there I can see your snowy crystals fall. Blessed are the hills, and blessed are we who hear you when you call. 